Welcome everyone. Today we'll have a high rank viewers game with a lot of familiar faces and some new friends as well. Some of the players are lords, some of the players are big boss, so it's gonna be a variety of ranking. I'm here to have some fun with the viewers. Have you tried 3 star task? I have tried it before. It's actually not bad. Definitely interesting. Some really good startups. Hmm. Ah, we go for a blood pump build. <laughs> I can't say no. We said we'll go for a fun game. We'll go for the blood pump. It's okay, professional. We'll go for one more viewers game after this one. So if you miss this one, try to join us for the next one as well. Uh, blood bond. Blood bond. Don't need any of that. Oh. You know what happened, guys. You know exactly what happened. I rolled ones. <laughs> How's DK Majors? Uh, DK Majors is not stable. Oh, I should put one down, just in case we don't, we'll draw again. The DK Majors is not stable simply because DK is not a 5 tier 5 unit, which is a legendary. You can't find him that quickly, and other dragons not that great on majors by themselves. I need a Blastica. Yeah, I rolled once, you saw there. I rolled once because I thought I had a free roll. <laughs> because usually I'm familiar with after the round starts, we lose and we get a free roll. Not the case. I'm actually so low on economy. <laughs> I'm the one with 8 net worth. <laughs> you can't get this low unless you rolled. Hey, that's a handicap for us. Who now? And blood bond. I'm not. I'm sure we're all familiar with this, but I'm not sure why I want to go in the mid to late game. Early game Luna with blood bond is definitely what we wanted. Oh, I'm shot on gold because I rolled. I am so sad. <laughs> yeah, sell the barrier, sell plastic out, just keeping the Luna. Because we know we get everything else. <laughs> I am so sad. I'm. I just made to ten gold. I'm 14, everyone's 16 at least. So not only did we draw the first round, I also accidentally rolled once because I thought I had a free roll. This will be a quick game if we keep this up. And the early economy is really painful. You saw that if I didn't have to sell the Blast Seeker, I could be on two Blood Bond. Right now I'm on one Blood Bond with Luna, and that's definitely not what I want to be. I want Mr. Warlock, I want Blastseekers. Maybe Ogre. Ogre is a little more costly. Though. But Blastseeker. Free roll wins, and there's a Blastseeker. That's good. See, I saw the Blastseeker knowing I'll get more of him, and he's not going to be a star of the show, pretty much. I don't want to get him down and, and win, though. No, no, let's, let's not try to win. <laughs> I have HP. <laughs> Funny enough, the only thing I have a lot is HP because we draw it and because not people are not hitting us hard. I prefer to get a draw now than lose my losing streak. For full knights, I'm thinking about at least two knights with Luna, maybe four. Everything else will be a blood bond or there will be something that's even stronger. The balance with the blood bond units is that you want more units on the table, you want to level fast. In order to compensate for doubling fast, you won't be able to find three stars. Maybe you get lucky with Luna, or maybe Chaos Knight, or maybe something else. But go for the tier four and tier five two stars, and that's what makes us. That's what makes us much stronger. Let's roll once. Two. I got two. I got two. <laughs> Never have it happened to me. <laughs> Never have this happened to me. <laughs> I remember there were times where I used to play for the Arc Warden build, which you have to purposely lose a Neutron to get more of the Blood Bond items. The contract, the Blood Bond contract. <laughs> and I got two. <laughs> hey, this game is good as it is. Even with all the mistakes I made, I'm pretty happy. Oh, look at the Blood Bond units. They're so good. The... Legion Commander will become a Blood Bond for us if we have other Blood Bonds. <laughs> go double Luna, yeah, go double Luna and two. <laughs> Contract Farming was so good, I actually used it legitly for rank games. Contract Farming with Arc Warden was actually my rank build. <laughs> hey there, Rudy. Good to see you, buddy. This is gonna be a fun one. So there's one Blood Bond on our friend Captain, and I'm checking who is gonna contest Plastica with me. A few players. And I kind of want the Witch Doctor. Not a must have though, to be honest. Yeah, don't need the Witch Doctor, don't need any of that. They're, they're not useful. <laughs> There's only one we need, <laughs> and that's Splapon. Oh, 
Yeah. Do we get it back? I don't want to win. I want to lose, but I don't want to be too strong. I should be able to lose. Yeah, Captain is very strong. See if I get lucky to kill one here. Don't kill one. Perfect. Don't need those. Do I need to shocked No, I don't. I just want. Yeah, I just want the knights and the bloodborne units. Which doctor means I'm going for Bear Rider, which I don't. Okay, screw. Once we get a chance, we're going to put another Luna down. And sometimes someone can have the Chaos Knight as well. But he just doesn't do AoE damage. We want something that's more AoE. <laughs> yeah, we got the Ogre. Thank you, guys. Yeah, we shocked this gone. Actually, I could have kept him. No need to sell him. Yeah, no need to sell him. A uh, Bloodbound Shadow thing. Nah, only good thing blood with Bloodbound is definitely the Luna. Bloodbound Legion is nice, but not as good. Because she doesn't die as fast. You kind of feel bad when she dies. And she doesn't gain the blood on damage. You see, that's a problem. Oh, okay, I got a cap. <laughs> okay, with okay, cap. How cute is that? How about that? Roll once. Don't need that. Hey, why, why is he only got two units? <laughs> Please don't lose to me. <laughs> Deck, you need to win here. No, he actually lost to me. My loot is too strong. No, why does he only have two? I just realized he's on a losing streak. <laughs> That moment he actually <laughs> he actually lost to me. I was like, no. <laughs> he got me twice. Got me at the start of the game on round one. <laughs> he drawed with me. <laughs> now he got me on round seven. <laughs> Two pro. Yeah, I'll get this now. Now I'm just gonna go level ups. Hey there, Kaya. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, try your high roll with level three, level four knights in big boss. I was eight. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that with the high rank games because it's not stable. With high rank games, you want some stable build, which allows you to have basically top three or top four potential at least fifty or sixty percent of the times. That's the best way to do it. It yeah, definitely don't get baited by the high rolls. Usually, the high rolls are more for fun builds and just you know play with friends or some. Sometimes you don't worry about ranking with casual games. That's when you try for those. But if you want a high roll with a high rank game, you should try the brownies. The brownies actually is a legit build that you're actually high rolling. It's actually one of the best ones to roll for that rank games. Look at the lunas, <laughs> angry tigers. <laughs> too luna, too good. What I'm doing now is I won't be rolling for the Luna, I'll be leveling for the Blast Seeker. Have three Blast Seeker, that means I want to level three times. Each time I'll wait for the run to start, then level up. I don't want to pre-level, simply because I want to get the high rates for Luna. At the same time, I don't want to spend for Luna. No one's got any kills, so sad. Nope, don't find anything, so we can level up here. Because right now we want to get as many kills as we can on the units, I don't mind. The Mr. Lock will be a sacrifice, then everyone gains more damage, and because we have two Ogre Caps, the Lunas will just go ham. If any of the other units dies, we'll get stronger. We'll always go for level up now. Probably don't even need the KS9. A yeah, double cap is so strong. The first time ever I got a double cap. So look at this plastic damage, 125 now. Just with one sacrifice with Mr. Wallach. <laughs> so angry. The double cap can take us to mid to late game, actually. Because usually one Luna is too risky. She can get doomed, she can get hooked, she can get stunned. But with two, there's always a backup. This also means once I get to three star Luna, I can swap an Ogre Cap onto Medusa. Go for another level up. Each time I get a chance, I'll level up. I'm building a win streak now. And who else is going for Bloodborne? I do believe there's one more player yet. There's one more player that's going for Bloodborne. Huh, probably better on the Doom to be honest. Yeah, I'll explain the Doom. He's a very good tank. He also gives us more attack speed. He does decent damage and he's just incredible overall. Let's go for level up. Don't need the Chaos Knight. So I'm going to put this Blast Seeker to the front. I want this one to survive, this one can die. The Dream is not in a rush to do anything. <laughs> and I'll probably take Necrophos for the healers and Warlocks. Very powerful. Yeah, with MMR, I don't recommend grinding for MMR. It 
doesn't get much better once you become Lord, but it does feel good the first time you get the Lord. Though. So, but there's no reason that much like, not much reason to go for Lord that badly. Let's kill all my lunas, <laughs> you monsters. Okay, Plastic is so angry now. 500 Plastic. That <laughs> milk is so big. <laughs> 600 Plastic. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Too good, right? So, we're gonna take Abaddon for two reasons. We want Heartless, we want Knights. Abaddon is one of the best Knights for us with Necrophos. That's the only two that's not gonna be a blood, blood bond. We don't need Legion. We have the late game. <laughs> Pretty much, that's all I needed. Oh, Plastic. I'll take it. i take this. So... Mm, double Luna. <laughs> Do you know when Season 2 is coming? I'm not sure. I'm hoping soon. But because of the virus situation, most developers are working from home. So I'm not 100% sure when that's coming. <laughs> Two plastic gunner. No need to rush the row. Well, row eventually at level 9 or level 10. Just because we want to get the maximum value. With one Mr. Warlock dead, we have double damage. <laughs> Look at those two, so tanky. Luna still top damage. I want a two star Luna if I can. <laughs> those two are so lost. <laughs> Legion is not great here. Simply, oh gosh, they're so angry. Legion will be a dead eye with Plus Seeker, and that's. She, her AI just gets rendered. She runs around, she doesn't hit anything, she gets really lost. So powerful. Let's wait for two runs. We get the Abaddon, then we we'll wait for the Necrophos. <laughs> More Necrophos. <laughs> Too good. How is the Blood Seeker count? Captain here has more Blood Seeker than me. Did he roll here, I wonder? I don't think he rolled much. Oh, he's rolling. I can see that he actually rolled a little bit. He's going for the same build as me, except he has insects. He also has hunters. Hey, Necro level 6, I know, right? <laughs> Too fancy. Can we do this? Of course we can. The more Blast Seeker they kill, the stronger the Luna becomes, and vice versa. <laughs> Look at him go. This is so powerful. I won't per level, actually, I will per level. No, I won't per level. I want the highest Luna rate I can find at 30%. <laughs> I mean, Jesus smiles upon that, I know. <laughs> That was so lucky. I have never gotten two ogre caps ever since I played. And I usually roll for the level 4 items too, but I never gotten two. Maybe I have, but I didn't pick up the first one. Desolate, we don't really need that. I don't need battle free. Anything that helps me survive now. Use up to Sakana, okay. But armor will help me survive. If armor helps me survive, I'll use it. Because you know if we survive, we do so much damage. Yep, we level up here. I stayed low for Luna. Didn't find her. This give us the knights. Next one will give us the hardless. We'll kind of be okay with Necrophos too, though. Yeah, better with the knights. Because Luna will stay next to each other. <laughs> Not much of the defense, but you know, it's about, what, 30% damage reduction? Especially against enemies that go for the back line. <laughs> one shot, people. Oh, he killed my Mr. Warlock. Activate my trap card. I love watching Blast Seeker, they're so angry when they go for people. And the quicker they attack, the more quicker they attack. Look at that. And for this round, do I level up? I can be a little greedy. I love up when the round starts, how about that? I do want Necrophos in as quickly as we can. I'm building a win streak too. And... Yeah, let's level up when the round starts. Don't need only night. That's the only thing we need. Level up now. <laughs> Too strong, right? Now this is definitely not stable because actually it can be stable. If you look at Captain, if you have one blood bond item and if you do something similar to me, you, even if you have one blood bond item, it can work because the amount of blood seekers and units are actually okay. I'm also not finding a two star Luna, which is very annoying. Level up here. fully committed for the early game aggression now, because I know I'm super powerful. <laughs> a June never made it. Oh, he got a Demon Blast Seeker. Oh, and he disappeared. <laughs> now, the positioning is very important. Uh, let's say something. That was fun. 
Positioning of my units, we need to direct the targeting of enemies onto my front lines instead of the blood seekers. Tech only? Nah, we don't need only. That's all we needed. We just get more bloodbond. Late game, we get a tide, we get a Medusa. We can lose a Ogre too if we want it. Mm, no tide, no Medusa. Oh, one, one gold shot. It's okay. This is actually okay. Ogre is awkward because. I want him to be in the front line to tank. I want him to be in the back line to buff damage. So we'll just leave him there. This is our battle to lose. Let's see how we go. Take my bait. <laughs> they didn't take the bait for Mr. Wallock. They killed Mr. Wallock too slowly. No. I think he's gonna die. <laughs> it's okay. I've got so many blood bombs. Look at this ogre, by the way. Me smack. Me buff, me smack. And Luna Bounce is infinite. So, level 2 gives us a massive damage boost because she bounces 3 times into 5 times. Almost double the damage, but each time she bounces, she loses damage. So, it's probably increased damage by at least 20%. On top of the double damage on Luna herself. Okay, roll now. Roll, roll at level 8 for the 3 stars. I don't think I go for 2 star Mr. Wallop though. I came. <laughs> no more rolling. So what's gonna happen is we use him and put him here and we get another sacrifice. Should I roll? Nah, level is better, right? I'm not sure now. Yep, yeah, rolling is a little better because I want to pe be prepared. The moment I find Luna, I need something else now. Rolling is better. We roll a little bit. Oh, this is the same sacrifice. Who's going to be stronger? We took one sacrifice, we killed two. He killed one. It's coming my Luna now. He killed my Luna. Oh, come on, just kill him with Blade Man. <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> yeah, we'll find Medusa. Level 9, we'll find Medusa better. But what I'm a little concerned, it's not a big factor, is that I might actually get a Luna down. I might find a 2 star Luna here, and I can just put down the Mr. Warlock. But if I level up, I won't have another unit to put, the, to put down in place of the second Luna. I want to find six Lunas too. We went from the bottom to the top. It's just really lucky. Oh, we have a Demon player. We have a 3 star Tusk and uh, uh, Mr. Warlock. So he's definitely going for Demons. It's going to be a really good test of, test of game to see who's stronger. It's a Master Master Luna too. And we don't need Demons. <laughs> we don't really need any of that to be honest. Tank items. Tank items. <laughs> <laughs> My front line has blade mails. We'll take it. Oh, I have enough. Perfect. I think in the, it's a really good one, though. Oh, that's what I've meant. Something like this could happen, and I was prepared with a Mr. Warlock just to quickly, quickly use him. Disrupt. Maybe good against majors. I might roll a little more. But the only thing I'm looking for is Luna, Blastica, and Necrophos, which is not bad. Yeah, two sacrifice now. And usually I give the Ogre Cap to the range unit. <laughs> That's an angry Necrophos. <laughs> oh gosh, look at this Luna go. It's a 3 star task. And he's gone. No, he's still alive. <laughs> no, he's gone. I'm sorry, Dex. It's a really nice Tusk 3 star with Demon though. It's a really like really smart combination because Tusk casts very quickly. Tusk is about 4 second cast and cast, Tusk always have the increased damage. If he can manage to get Crystal Maiden with Tusk, Tusk actually can enjoy the Demon damage and punch at the same time. But it's theoretical, it's not really easy to get to that. And also because of our healers, Dream also heals for quite a bit. Each time Mr. Wallock casts, we get a link, and that give us life steal. 50% for 2 seconds. Are we gonna chill? We roll a little bit? Nah, we don't need to chill. <laughs> we just throw down the ogre. This is the powerful part about this build. Each time you get a blood bond, you can just throw him down. Don't go for the 2 star Mr. Wallock, because, well, they don't die fast enough. They start healing and they actually offset the damage. Hey there, Seb. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome. I will chill for now. Follow me. 
let's get some water. And ever since the tip for not using plastic bottles, I got a proper bottle. <laughs> Thank you so much for the suggestion, guys. Because I was using a plastic bottle on stream, and some of the viewers saying it's not really healthy because a plastic bottle would deteriorate and you know the plastic material gets inside of you. That's a really good recommendation, and I start to change my habits as well. Look at the plastic. <laughs> it's got 38 kills, by the way. Eventually, he will be a god seeker. Each time he get one kill, he increases his maximum life by 50, and this is not limited. He starts on 1,800. He's sitting on close to 4,000 HP. I don't have the pre-level. I'll level up when the round starts. <laughs> Game's like take shadow things, man. Nah, one ogre is good enough. What's gonna happen now is this ogre becomes a sacrifice. This ogre will buff the unit that's kind of in the back line. He was just running and protect Luna from a uh, backstab. Should I take Shadowfin? Not worth it, right? I mean, he's not an AOE damage shooter. He is a Warlock, but not needed. I don't even need a Disruptor. Disruptor is for a mage. See, he buffs, he comes in. Mr. Warlock dies. Oh, let's look at his task. Look at his damage. He's gonna punch for 100. Why is that? Because he doesn't have any more demons. So unfortunately, although Dex is running a really nice demon build with Tusk, he needs to be combined with the Mr. Warlock player for more demons. <laughs> so much VFX. What's VFX, my friend? <laughs> Not with acronyms. So let's look at our Warlock friend with, with Dex here. Dex has... And a 6 for more demons. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to disconnect. <laughs> the scream loaded a little slower. So 1 demon, 2 demon. 3 demon, 4 demon, 5 demon. So 5 demons, not bad actually. Very powerful. Maybe if he gets himself in the corner and protect the Mr. Warlock, that may work better. We're doing really nicely. I'm picking up the Titan. I don't need the Shocker. Titan Medusa for the final two. That's when the Blastica become 3 star and Luna become 3 star. Uh, video effects, you're right. Yeah, so many great highlights for the video, right? This <laughs> Mr. Wallock will be a carry now. <laughs> it's a baby Wallock with 250 damage. Backline st backstab. <laughs> okay, kill the backstabber. Perfect. I do believe you do hit the jackpot when you get two ogre cap and you know what you're doing. And this build is perfect to show you guys what to do with ogre caps. Just get a bunch of Luna, level correctly, and have proper sacrifice. Those two are the best add-ons. Abaddon keeps the knights while Necrophobes give us everything else. Yeah, so strong. This is actually a legit rank build if you get two cap. <laughs> but it doesn't happen. It happens, what, five games out of a hundred games? Maybe higher rates, I'm not sure. Let's take the Vatimir. Give us more armor, more stats. Got a lot of Vatimir somewhere. I know I can Take it to the Blastica. So Blastica starts here, he runs forward, he gives everyone aura. How about that? Luna! Beautiful. I'm gonna add the Luna in. Could've found Oni. Oh, couldn't find Necro. Yeah, that's, really, that's pretty contested. Look, one, two, three, four knights. I'm not a proper knight though. I'll be leveling up for the next Luna. And this way we can give the Vandermeer to the Necrophos would look for a damage item on Blastica, look for tank items for the front line. Here we go. This is a viewers game, that's right, it's a viewers game. <laughs> My viewers are like, not like this, man. <laughs> we didn't try hard for the win though, it just happened. Oh no, she got hooked. I should swap her with Necrophos next time. She's actually not dying. Wait, are we sure you're losing? Okay, no, we lost. <laughs> Great hook. <laughs> the hook on me, go Saint. <laughs> well played, well played. Uh, two rounds, we'll level up. I'll just swap those two. <laughs> this way they won't get hooked like that. Mm, yeah, I need to get the Luna down, so we swap items. The Venom on the Blastic is not great. He's actually not really positioning himself well for us. Could do that. Don't need those. Troll Wallard. Can't fit him. Because we need at least two trolls to make him work. Oh, we need a, the warriors. What units to be around the Doom? I'll swap them around. Maybe this is better. 
Yeah, this should be okay. Maybe Vedemir on the yoga. Nah, it's all good. Let's just level up here. Looking for Medusa now. <laughs> Look, there's always a blinker. Oka's here in the back line. <laughs> That's so much healing. But the downside with healers that you don't want to blink your healers. Because if you blink your healers, they get isolated, they'll be focused down. Oh, this down the Luna though. Big star on the Luna. But yeah, you never want to blink your healers. You don't want your group to be isolated. You want to stay together. So you don't want the blink deck on the healer team. <laughs> hey there, Odin. Good to see you, buddy. That's pre level. Absolutely no reason to pre level here. <laughs> it does give us higher Medusa rate. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm so lucky with the Blood Bond Cap. I know. So lucky. Everything else you can build for, not the Blood Bonds, because those are items. This does remind me, we used to lose like level 10, level 15 for the Nutrient just to get the Blood Bond contract. If you want to see some insane like 20k, 30k, 50k damage, check out those videos. They're old, but they're really good. Used to lose purposely for those. Economy wise, we're okay with economy. Because, you know, we leveled pretty, pretty quickly and we didn't roll much. Rolling does take your money away. Oh, two Lunas are together. Well, this one's gone. <laughs> it's a trap card. <laughs> Last time he defeated me with a good hook. Not this time, though. <laughs> that was an angry Plastico. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> what punch, man? Look at this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the head of Yura, he was saying the Warlock's spear was poking him in the eye. It was so big last time. Okay. 68%. Refresh your Shadow Demon. Look at that. Unfortunately, the 3 star Mr. Warlock player is gone. I think it's a hard gamble. You have to have the demons prepared. You have to have enough HP prepared as well. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Hey there, MB. Oh my gosh, 13 months as well. One of our longest subscribers and supporters as well. Thank you so much for the 4 months and 13 months in total, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it shows the game is actually 3D. Really good 3D model. Because <laughs> the bigger they get, the better it is. I was thinking of leveling, then I saw I'm already level 10. Can't level anymore. We start rolling. We won't buy the Mr. Warlock. Don't need him to be 2 star. Him to die fast. We we'll compare the damage on the two Lunas. <laughs> that was like, save me. He buffed one of the Lunas, by the way. <laughs> they already finished. The front line are already gone. Now, why is this build so strong? Is every unit has increased damage or a potential to do more damage, especially when we survive long enough. They build balance with a tank June and the damage dealers on Blast Seekers and Luna. So most teams can't cope with this much damage. They can't kill us fast enough. How to defeat this team is with multiple stuns and with units that disable other units. Sankin's great, Titan is good. Hunters allows us to focus fire and if you corner yourself up with Hunters, the Blastica runs in, they get stoned and they die. What? Meanwhile? Butterfly is not bad. We can roll for some tier 5s. Got a heart. Not great. <laughs> not great at all. I'll take it. Why is a heart great is... Well, it's just awkward. Should have taken the butterfly actually. Let's roll. Microphone is not bad. Let's roll for Luna. I don't know. Yeah, not. Yes, I'll do that. Oh, that's a pickup. So I'm rolling for Lunas. While I'm at it, I might get more Tide and Medusa. This protects us from magical damage and gives us two really good stuns. And also, it's a good snack lady. <laughs> it's a massive snack lady. <laughs> that missed the Warlock die so fast. Plastic runs in with 4k damage, 4k HP. He runs out. He's like, I don't want to go there. Plastica is still alive. Plastica is the summoner cleanup duty. Dusa stuns. Look at the Dusa. Increase by 100. Yeah, Dusa is definitely your backup for the late game. Because of the stuns. Luna still top damage. <laughs> Look at the tide. Yeah, this is the final switch. We can switch this Mr. Mr. Ogre into a Tide Hunter. Luna. Don't need Avalon. Nothing. Don't have the roll. Yeah, so powerful, right? 
the title that can take the heart too. But you know, the heart, okay, kind of works. <laughs> so, who is going to be the final three? We're looking at Hunters. Oh, this is the scary part. The Hunters, if he gets tied, I'm pretty scared. Because that will be the final piece. It's and Hunters and Insects. Also, Warlock and Healers. I'm okay with Warlock and Healers. Not sure about Hunters. Let's have a look. <laughs> Poor little Ogre. At least he deals with the... Uh, at least he deals with the backline. No, we got my backline. Oh, hunters are too strong, you see? Yeah, this is the scary part about hunters. So powerful. <laughs> I should roll. I should roll for the Titan. Way too much damage here. And uh, maybe we, we swap like this. What should I find out? Because it seems to be kiting me away from where I want to be. Uh, Titan is good. Get them ogres in. Uh, Titan, they can get this. Titan is okay. Double ogre, double plastic. Let's have a look. I can go for three star ogre because you know we have the spot, we have the units. We'll go for three star ogre. Go for the. Go for the you know Luna. Medusa is still better than Luna because you know she works with the tide. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> so kited. This is what I mean. The Medusa actually catches us very nicely. But this time the backline survived. No, the these tides still didn't cast. <laughs> oh gosh, the Luna damage. <laughs> she hit basically. <laughs> she hit so hard. Why are you using one star ogre instead of two? Oh, did I use a one star ogre? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. I did use a one-star ogre. Oops. Need a Medusa. Need more. Well, that's a few unfortunate rows. Positional-wise, this Scent King, this Scent King is really annoying. Oh, that can be here. I hope, hopefully, Scent King stands out of the way. Yeah, positioning is pretty clutch as well. I am facing him. I might not want to do that. Because the Medusa stuns more units if I'm facing him. But the good thing is my oh, my Tide Hunter stuns more now. Better position on the Tide. Ogre baited exactly what I was hoping for. And this should be a really good fight. Yeah, that was a good read on the positioning as well. The entire team got baited by the Ogre. Beautiful. Yeah, the opponents with no barricades, I do find barricade hunters to be very powerful. But for this one, maybe we can be stronger than barricade hunters. Ah, I like that. <laughs> Instant pick, I didn't even think about it. Let's roll for the three units to three star. Let's roll for the Medusa as well. Don't need that. Mm, three star tide is too expensive, right? I don't know why I bought him. I don't need to buy him, to be honest. Yeah. We start rolling. How is our friend doing here? He does have two star Medusa trees. That's scary. Now, he is on one away from the Nyx Assassin. He rolled everything, so Sabres are in there. Oh, he moved away. Oh, I didn't check. Mistake we made. No, don't kill the void. We're gonna get stunned. Oh, got stunned. <laughs> okay, still baited, huh? No, the stun failed. My tight stun failed. That, that stun taken, huh? That's good. Mistake we made. Okay, that's a big mistake on the positioning here. I should have checked. <laughs> really shot me. Uh, not checking is uh, very painful. Let's roll, let's roll. Let's roll for Medusa. Oh, that's a mistake. I instantly clicked because I was in a rush. Let's see if I can find a Medusa. No, no Medusa. Not great. In order to avoid any combination, I'm actually going to get a different combination myself. Oh, the tide. No, the Tom Buddy. I didn't check the Tom Buddy again. <laughs> Just saw the Tom Buddy. Yeah, here I was rolling too deeply. No. 
<laughs> Too much stakes for me. Never do this, guys. I might be dead. I'm gone. Oh gosh, save I really shot us. <laughs> no mistake. So, two mistakes were made. The first time I didn't check the positioning. Second time I rolled again instead of changing my positioning. I forgot the tide will be countered by the Tom Buddy. The tide will not survive long enough to get any cast off. And I think Sabre did exactly what I said to counter me. <laughs> I said it too early how to counter the build. It's to pull the units back, Hunter's focus, stuns on Tide and Medusa, and the Medusa will stone any of the Bloodseeker that goes in. So that was very well played by Saber. I definitely misplayed in the end of it, and I'm sure you guys saw. So two position mistakes. One is I didn't adjust properly, the second one was the title's cord. And even with that, I do believe I only become stronger if I find the three stars. Finding the two star Warlock is not good as well. It's not dying as fast. So here, if you compare the damage, this is already late game. Hunter is a proper build in the late game. While the Blood Bomb build is required to have some of the three stars, some of the better tanks. So we're okay with most other builds except Hunters. Because the focus fire and the distance just deals with us too quickly. And the multiple stuns with Sankey and Tide is too powerful. And that was a perfect counter for us. So not only we shot the two Blood Bomb cap, the two Ogre cap with the build, we also showed a counter to this build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. So Kaya said, is it because me you didn't find the three star plus seeker? I was rolling for the I wasn't rolling for the plus seeker that quickly in an early game. By the time I'm level 10, I won't have any rates for plus seeker. So that's one of the downside. I was okay with two plus seeker, but if I'm finding a hunter, they're not that great. Because they run into the back line, they get stoned and the Medusa kills them. Show hunter build please. Uh, I'm not sure how. Oh I can, yes, I can. Perfect. Let's have a look at the Hunter build. Hunter went actually for a bit of Assassins as well. So when he went for the Void, Vigilant, Hunters, Insects, and Assassins. What he has is a very strong Void against us. If we get stunned, we don't die, and we don't do enough damage. Templar is very powerful, so he does have the Crown. I was wondering how he has so many, because he has the Crown, makes him so much more powerful. What he could have done is to give the Cadence to Medusa at level 1, but because level 2 Medusa does more damage, and I'm not a percentage-based player, he actually did the right thing. He actually gave the Cadence to someone else and kept the Medusa for damage. Medusa actually does more damage than Cadence at level 2. So very well played, and it's a hard thinking. <laughs> I wasn't killing him on the back line too. Yeah, the misclick on the Warlock as well, I know. Warlock become a 2-star. So definitely panic a little bit at the end. Well played by Saber, very well played.